Hey guys, welcome back to Shadow Moon. So, uh, in some video games like Skyrim uh, in Whiterun, the guards wander around wearing a certain type of leather or a gambeson over top of their chainmail. And in some of the pictures on the Masajowski Bible and on the Bio Tapestry, you see the same thing. So we figured we'd give it a test run and see what happens. See if this leather changes the results from the last chainmail test. So what we have here is our gambeson, our 16 gauge chainmail, butted links, and a thin leather covering. Now this might have been for weather, but maybe it had something to do with the armor as well. Like we saw in most leather testing, the leather just expands enough to let the arrowhead through, but grabs it right afterwards. Swords and daggers, same deal. So, maybe it helps. Maybe it's just for show. Let's find out. Allons-y. Well, you have consistency, just need to shoot lower. And to the right. See, so I go lower, and that's what happens. <laughs> You're supposed to go like a hair lower, not an inch lower. It's hard to do minute adjustments at this poundage. Yay! Well, that's one. That's the bodkin, anyways. Let's get the others out. Okay, what's up, Bodkin? We have a control shot and an actual hit. Yep. Oh, yeah, it's in the wood. It's already in the wood? So that goes as deep as it can go then. <laughs> oh, are we going to lose the head? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it went that deep, eh? <laughs> well, it went that deep. This guy here, the sandwiching is actually preventing us from pulling the arrow back out. This would be really bad in a battlefield triage. Yep. So. Yeah, same. Yeah. Same penetration, doesn't even slow down the bodkin, but we're gonna have to try these broad heads again. Let's get the broad heads out. I've changed that. Yep. So she punched straight through. She really ate the rings too. Yeah. But, oh, that's why. Hit the rope? No, it's the void from the axe. Ah. She bounced back out because of that. And all it did was nick the gambeson because of that. But I'd say if it wasn't for that void. Yeah, it would probably have had some penetration. Well, it stuffed the gambeson in pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do a reshot on that and see. What happens? Thank you. You want to take a shot? Back 
you. I'll get my weapon back. Yeah, I don't know if you're watching. All right. It's like this. I just keep it down here. No blind spot. Doesn't go through. Nope. Leather's grabbing the arrow and binding it. Yep. And stopping it from penetrating. I think you actually missed the, um, the chain altogether. But it still wouldn't go through. Yeah. Because if the canvas didn't stop it, the chain wouldn't have. Uh... Well, we know that this doesn't stop it. Yep. We know that these two don't stop it, but these two. Yep. You go. still wouldn't tickle because it was in oh, pretty no. good. Ooh. All right. On to the dagger. On to the dagger. Well, the leather, it does nothing. You were stopped by the wood again, weren't you? Probably. Nope. You oh, stopped I wouldn't. Shy. Just to say shy, but. All right, well, let's see about the sword. Concussive blows. Let's see if oh, it stops. Oh, you swing at it still. Oh, fair enough. Sorry, I'm cutting me short again. Yeah, that's fine. But we already know where this is going to go. Nowhere. That's eh, okay. It's only Kevin. We'll just fix him up later. Ooh, got a nice scratch on that. Yep, nothing. Why not the sword? Not sure what happened there. <laughs> it wrapped around when I pulled it back. But there is something interesting happening we didn't have on the original light leather test. There's a series of perforations. It's just wherever the links are, it's cutting right through. Yep. So it's not even stopping the force very well. Uh, do you mind holding? Yep. I'm going to give it one or two more swings. <laughs> See if it'll shake itself apart again. Yeah, the hole's getting bigger still. But not as big as before. It is helping prevent it from enlarging as quickly. That's true. It is having an effect. The The broadhead didn't go through. The, uh, the sword is having some trouble. So, let's stage it up. Still didn't cut through. And he's dented. He got some more links opened up. Oh yeah, like that. Yeah. It ripped. If we do another one of these combination tests, I want to find a better way of holding that up. All right. Nope, that went straight through the original hole. Oh no! Brand new hole. Yep, brand new hole. And through the leather. I think the leather helps a little bit with the cutting, but not with... Um, it's better for slashing and arrows. Yeah. Light arrow fire, just uh, broadheads and whatnot. But it doesn't really stop bodkins, heavy, heavier weapons. Slashes from daggers would have been stopped by the chain anyway, so there's really little value to having this over anything else. Except well, for maybe to protect the chain.
chainmail from the old ones. That's true. That's true. That's true. They didn't have galvanization or stainless steel back then. Yep. So it's probably just uh, weatherproofing, not uh, any level of protective value. All right. So that takes care of our 16 gauge four and one. Uh, what we're going to move on to now is our 16 gauge, or sorry, our 14 gauge four and one. Uh, Maybe that'll stand up a little bit better to the arrows and the axe. See you then.